Icebridge here. In this video, I'm going to show you the top resources which I use in order to add AI generated and also real profile pictures in my design projects. And this is also great for testimonials or any usage which you might have on websites. So I'm going to start with the resources in Figma and then we're going to go on some really useful websites. So when it comes to Figma, I essentially add uh, faces in two ways. I either use the plugin called UI Faces, which as you can see over here, uh, you're going to be able to have this uh, menu. So say that we have uh, the need to add uh, avatars uh, over here. You can select the source. Usually I go with uh, the top uh, three. Then you can select the age of these avatars, then uh, gender, male or female. And uh, you can simply, um, you know, select some, some of these other settings and click on uh, apply avatars. And uh, it's going to take uh, a moment, but essentially you're going to have uh, uh, these uh, source uh, from uh, all around the internet and you can have them uh, pretty easily. Now, the second resource, which uh, I really like uh, is uh, content reel. Content reel is great uh, also for, um, as the name suggests, uh, content. So even like text content uh, and whatnot. Uh, if you go under the image section, you're going to have to find a bunch of these. So again, you can select the circles and you can select, for example, females avatars, and you can see how these are going to be sampled automatically. You can also click on this eye, which is really helpful, and you can pick and choose the avatars which you prefer, which is something that I use quite often as a feature because uh, I like even uh, certain compositions to be in a certain way whenever I'm selecting avatars for UI designs. So that's that when it comes to Figma. And then uh, let's go and jump into some really useful websites. First one being is generated.photos slash faces where you can find uh, all sorts uh, of different uh, faces. And uh, here you have like all sorts of different filters for uh, these, so you can select pretty much endless options. And then of course, uh, uh, simply select one and then you can uh, download it uh, uh, or add it to a card. For the most part, I think they have like the uh, free version if you, if they, if you have the uh, this uh, thumbnail right here. And uh, yeah, that's that. Now let's move on to the very next one, which is this person does not exist.com, which is a very simple concept. So you refresh this, uh, uh, this link, <laughs> you're going to find uh, different, uh, uh faces, uh, right here. So really useful. And, uh, this was the very first one, which uh, I started using whenever it comes to AI generated faces. And before we move on to the next one, I also want to remind you that I recently launched uh, an academy where I'm teaching you, uh, everything that you need to know in order to kickstart uh, or bring uh, your design career to the next level. So you're going to have uh, more than 11 courses uh, to become a web uh, UI UX or digital designer. So here's the list uh, of all of the courses which you're going to have, uh, uh by simply subscribing for just $9 a month. Uh, and uh, you can cancel at any time. And by the end, uh, you're going to be able to know how to create uh, uh, designs uh, which are professional and uh, seeked out by top tier companies, as well as to how to find clients remotely and how to sell to them. So pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah, just check it out if you're interested in uh, uh, leveling up your design career. And now let's move on to the very next one, which is uh, uh, the actual page uh, of UI faces. And the reason why I added this one here is because uh, I want to let you know that it's not only available for Figma, but also for Sketch and Adobe XD. So uh, just keep it in mind if you're a Sketch or Adobe XD user. And uh, the last resource which I recommend is uh, uh, UI faces or Lauren faces right here. So this one is another website where you're going to find like pretty much an endless supply of faces that you can uh, easily copy and paste. So this is pretty much it for this video. Hope it was helpful and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you in the next video.